Hi, welcome back to ChemTube. Okay, today I'm going to uh, discuss on the questions in the Chemistry Paper 3 2019. So every year, the scientific skills that would be asked would be the same. Okay, there are 11 criteria here. So let's look at the measuring using numbers. Okay, first we look into the questions. Okay, rubber is widely used in our daily life because of its elasticity. So diagram 1.1 shows apparatus set up to study the elasticity of the vulcanized rubber and unvulcanized rubber in the form of rubber strips. So vulcanized rubber and the unvulcanized rubber are cut into same size. So both rubber strips are hung using the bulldog clips. The initial length of the rubber, both rubber strips are measured. A weight of 50 grams is hung at the, at the end of each rubber strip and its length is measured. Then the weights are removed and the length of the both rubber strips are measured again. First, scientific skills will be measuring using numbers. So record the length of the rubber strip readings in the spaces provided in the diagram. This is the length. Uh, for the vulcanized rubber, okay, this one is before, this one is during the weight is hung, and then this one is after the weight is removed. Initial length actually is 2.5, this one is 8.0, so the answer should be 5.5. So for the ruler reading, we need to round to one decimal place, so it's 5.5. So during the weight is hung, 6.8, and after the Weight is removed, the length is 5.5. This is for unvulcanized rubber. Initial length is the same, 5.5. Then during the weight is hung, is 7.3. After the weight is removed, so it's 6.0. If the student can record all the readings correctly, they'll get the score 3. So for score 2, the students are able to record 4 correct readings. Score 1 will be 3 correct readings. So the second question comes to the communication. So based on the diagrams, uh, construct a, a table to record the result of the experiment. The student need to leverage types of rubber or rubber strip. Reject R reject the type of strip. So length before unit need to be stated. Okay. During and after. Okay, so the student need to record down all the readings from the A. Accept two decimal places and then allow one mistake in the data transfer from the 1A to get the score 3. So the student also can present the answer uh, to like this to get the score 3. So for score 2, the student miss out one manipulative variable or responding variable like this. Or the student miss out the unit for the score 1, the student can only write out one of the readings like this. So based on the diagram 1.2 and 1.3, step 1 observation. What observation the student can observe? So the student can write, okay, the vulcanized rubber returns to its uh, initial length, but the unvulcanized rubber is longer than its initial length when the weight is removed. The student also can write the length of the vulcanized rubber is longer than the unvulcanized rubber after the weight is removed. As you can see here, the weight is removed must be stated clearly to get score 3. A student also can write the length of the vulcanized rubber is longer than the vulcanized rubber during the weight is Hang. The vulcanized rubber returns to its initial length when the weight is removed. Okay, without stating the unvulcanized rubber length. Go one. The length of the rubber are different or stretchable. Is the idea mark for one. After the observation, it must be the inference. The vulcanized rubber is more elastic then unvulcanized rubber. So this is an inference to get score 3. So we accept also the vulcanized rubber is more elastic if got the comparison in the observation already. The student write the uh, vulcanized rubber is more elastic can only get score 2. Score 1, elasticity of the 
rubber differs. We will reject the student write the uh, answer like depends or affects. Controlling the variables. Manipulated variable with vulcanized rubber and unvulcanized rubber. Type of rubber or rubber. Idea will be strip or type of strips. For the responding variable, is the elasticity of the rubber, extension or elongation of rubber. Okay, idea will be elasticity without of rubber or length of strip. Fixed variable, mass of the weight, size of the rubber strip, original length of the rubber. Idea mark will be type of weight, weight, weight of weight. If the student write three ideas equals to one mark. Next, we look into the hypothesis. Techniques to write the correct hypothesis will be statement relate the MV followed by RV yeah, with the direction. Number one, the direction MV, direction RV. Direction, normally we can use like higher, lower, increase, decrease. In this uh, experiment, we we can use this method number two la, to write the correct hypothesis. The vulcanized rubber is more elastic than the unvulcanized rubber. For score two, the vulcanized rubber is elastic. Score one, rubber has different elasticity. If MV or RV, the idea with the direction maximum, the stu student can get score two. La. Interpreting data. Based on the result in diagram 1.2 and 1.3, vulcanized rubber is more elastic. They have cross links. These cross links will pull the rubber molecules back to the initial position or prevent the rubber molecules from sliding. Operational definition need to specify what should be done and what should be observed. Elongation of rubber strip occurs when a weight is hung and removed. Okay, this is for score 3. Score 2, elongation of rubber strip or a weight is hung or ability of the rubber to return to its original length. So this is for score 2. For score 1, the rubber strip is stretched. Ability of the rubber returns to its original size or shape. The experiment is repeated by replacing 50 grams of the weight with 30 grams of uh, weight. So predict the length of the vulcanized rubber strip after the 30 gram of weight is removed. 5.5 cm. So unit must be uh, stated uh, to get score 3. If score 2, no unit will be score 2, 5.5, no unit. Or if student give the value between 5.5 to 6.8, it will be score 1. The student cannot give the, the answer like less than 5.5, more than 5.5, more than 6.8, or remain the same. Timing belt is used in a car engine. The elasticity of the timing belt affects the smoothness of the car's engine. Diagram shows the level of elasticity of the timing belt in a car over a certain period of time. State the relationship between the elasticity of the timing belt with time. Score 3. The elasticity of the timing belt decreases with time. Score 2. The elasticity of the timing belt decreases without mentioning the time or the student write inversely proportional with time. Score 1. The elasticity of the timing belt changes. Classify the products into vulcanized and unvulcanized rubber. The score 3, okay, vulcanized rubber are rain cords and car tires. Unvulcanized rubber will be uh, rubber bands and surgical gloves. Score 2 will be classified three substances correctly. Score 1, classify two substances correctly or totally reverse. The student uh, is not allowed to write in sentence. For example, the student write like this. Vulcanized rubber are rain cords are car tires. Um, vulcanized rubber are rubber band and surgical gloves. Okay, the second part of the paper tree is the planning of design and experiment. Of uh, one until five will be three marks, then tabulation of data will be two marks. So total is 17 marks. 
there is a dialogue between a teacher and a student experiment about the electrical conductivity of the ionic compounds eh, and the covalent compounds. Plan a laboratory experiment to compare electrical conductivity of the substance X and substance Y. So give one suitable example of substance X and Y. Planning should include six criteria, so 70 marks. So score three, can ionic and covalent compounds conduct electricity or light up the bulb? We accept substance X and Y or correct compound name. Score two, can ionic compound conduct electricity without mentioning the covalent compound? So score one, need to compare the electricity electrical conductivity of the ionic and covalent compound. Okay, MV, eh? manipulated variable, ionic compounds and covalent compounds. Type of compounds, lead to bromide and naphthalene. Reject the wrong formula, for example, PB, PR. So for responding variable, okay, electrical conductivity, bulb light up, deflation of emitter, galvanometer needle or condition of the light bulb. Reject the voltmeter reading. Fixed variable, carbon electrodes. Reject type of electrode. For hypothesis, we need to relate the MV and RV with the direction. Score 3. Ionic compounds can conduct electricity in molten state, while covalent compound cannot conduct electricity. We can also accept substance X and Y. Score 2 if missing the molten state. Ionic compound can conduct electricity. Score 1. Different compounds have different electrical conductivity without the direction. So materials, lead to bromide, except chloride salt, bromide salt and sulfate salt. Number two is naphthalene, acetamide, or glucose. Apparatus. There are nine apparatus need to be stated here. Crucible or evaporating dish. Carbon electrodes, battery, power supply, or dry cell. Connecting wire. If the student write wire, we directly go to score two. Bunsen burner, a tripod stand, clamp pipe triangle, bulb emitter or galvanometer, and spatula. The student can get maximum one material and one apparatus from the diagram or procedure. For score 2, the student need to give two materials, five apparatus. For score 1, the student need to list one material. If the student do not write in any names, score 0. Apparatus with four apparatus. We accept the container like beaker and boiling tube. Okay, for the procedure, first fill the crucible with the solid lead to bromide until it is half full or one third. Number two, dip the carbon electrodes into the solid. Okay. Number three, complete the circuit. Number four, heat the solid lead to bromide until it is melt. Five, record the observation. Six, repeat step one to five using naphthalene. For score two, the student need to state step 1, step 3, step 5, and step 6 to get score 2. Score 1, step 1, step 3, and step 5, or any idea of electrical contact. Tabulation of data, draw a table, put in the MV and the RV. MV is a compound, led to bromide and naphthalene. RV will be observation or electrical conductivity. Score 1, compound and observation without mentioning any names. Okay, so that's all for Pepper 3 2019. Thank you.